an exclusive just by just by luck hey I'm sorry Hey, homie, this way. Come on, man, keep up. What you want to do then, fool? Punk, I'll roll with that. Fool, is you on shine? Hey, who you mad, dog? Who you all mean, mother? Dumb bitch. Hey, you ain't gang. Ah! <clears throat> ain't you got a leash? You drunk on pistols, loco? Baby, you better join a dating agency. I'm for me slow. Nah. Don't you go call him. Ah! Alright, let's have us some coffee. I know a good shrink you can see. Me blame society. You want chingasso songs? You drunk on pistols, loco? Why are you being sucio, homie? Don't get me home! 
sorry. Oh! Oh! I kill you! Excuse you, maladucado. Aquí estoy, stupid puto. I apologize, okay? Get Not my home. style. I'm kicking you in your cradle! Man issues, girl. Ah! Okay, girl, if you insist. Let's have us some coffee. Orange Grove Street fam. Sorry, man.
Ah, screw you! God, it's not like it's slammed in here. These bangers out here is nuts. Bad, but you getting jacked, woman. Line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude too if you Where couldn't you reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? You're all the same, you giant. Oh, I'm tall. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. I love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People and opinions and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had it with people whining about guns that kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safety of my own home and car. I ain't hurting nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. Y you know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. <laughs> All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? No, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants him to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff? Buy your own lottery tickets, you know? Hey! Oh, shit! Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. I'm a first-time caller. 
I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Did yes, you yes. buy your license? Stank. Look at you. What an asshole. Make us! I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, Nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs Nanny, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, Laszlo. It's lovely. Freddy needs a Nanny. He needs a Nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. H how old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand the little brat. But I'm ready. He needs a nut. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening so, to that caller about taxes. His views are a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, I wonder if wrestling's on tonight. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. <laughs> Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash-in-the-pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow will up... You little moron! You have to oh, wait. Wow, you ridiculously ugly! You having a good day now, asshole? Come on, playboy, get lost! Get out of here, bitch! Oh. Hey, I don't want to see you around. I'm on chill, chill. You can't do this to GSF. Don't crawl back under a rock. My car! You better set the table! Like I gave a woman, but I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I. You lame, fool. Lame. You want to tell me something? talking how to say hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. 
you not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Mm. Sueño. So he starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer. A dreamer. A man who has me. 